Thank you so much. Wow, what a wonderful night to be here tonight. Seeing so many great faces, you all must be so proud of yourselves to, to make it this far. And thank you to Tolstra for allowing this to happen. I know that everyone in this room, at some point in time, had the same dream that I did. To be your own boss and to run your own business. At the time I started my business, 13 years ago, I was so excited that I just didn't think about all the fantastic benefits about being your own boss would bring. Like waking up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, wondering how you're going to pay the mortgage. <laughs> or wondering how the hell I was going to get my very first customer, and if I did get them, would they pay me? <laughs> oh yes, I was living the dream all right. But looking out into this room, I can see we're all here because we want to live the dream. And if we were given the choice, we probably wouldn't have it any other way. I think back to when I started my business 13 years ago in 2001, and I often laugh to myself thinking, what the hell was I doing? My first rule office, as uh, Andrew uh, had explained, was my second bedroom. I crammed a desk in there and a bookshelf. I thought I made it when I got my very first staff member. A fresh uni graduate, it was like the blind leading the blind. But there were four in my team, or I'd say there were four in my team. If I counted my two cats, and if anyone ever asked, Jack and Jerry were account managers. <laughs> they didn't need to know that Jerry was my Burmese and Jack was my Moggy. But talk about fake it till you make it. When we could finally really afford a, a, a real office, one you left the house to actually go to, it was amazing. Um, at the time, I got very excited. I went to Ikea and I bought as many desks and chairs as I could possibly afford. And it ended up looking a bit like a call centre. I never thought I'd have the staff to fill it, but I was always an optimist. In fact, the other day, we had a staff meeting in our obviously bigger boardroom in Alexandria. And uh, there was two young girls that had to share a seat, and it really brought back the memories of the old home office. But um, I like to think of running a business as a series of choices and decisions that get you further away from where you started and closer to where you're going. If you can pull together a string of choices, or at least a few, you're going to get to where you want to go. But it's okay to stuff up and make a bad decision. It's okay to lose a little bit of money because, you know, that's the kick up the bum you need to get you back on track. Entering the Telstra Business Awards last year for me was a choice. A decision that I made for me after being in business for 12 years. A decision that I thought I need to spend some time and do something positive for me and something positive for my business. Taking the time to complete the application, which all of you tonight have done, was something that I really enjoyed because it was for the first time in my life that I actually had to sit down and evaluate my business. I had to look at the processes, why I was doing what I was doing, and it really, really made me think about where I wanted to go. So I learnt so much from that alone. I'm sure of all, all of you here tonight would probably share that same feeling. For me, winning the Telstra Business Award for the best small business in New South Wales gave me something that I didn't know I needed, and that was confidence. It gave me the confidence as a marketer to, to have that confidence that I am successful and to know that I'm running a successful business. After 12 years, I really thought I had all the confidence that I needed uh, to run a successful business. But after winning the award last year, something inside me changed. Um, I started to think differently um, people started to look at my business differently and it really did something, not just for me, but the positive impact that it actually had on my team. They were so excited about winning the award. There was texts, there was tweets, there was Facebooks going to mothers, brothers, nieces, nephews and clients. And to actually see them hold their heads high and talk about them being award winners, it, it just melted my heart. It was absolutely amazing. But tonight I'd like to acknowledge Telstra's commitment to, to us in the SME sector because we need to thank them for recognising all the hard work and the blood, sweat and tears that we do. It's so nice to, to sit back and actually 
have you know, somebody like Telstra acknowledge us because there's not a lot of people that do. But win or lose tonight, just remember, you're not the same as when you started this journey. You are definitely closer to where you're all going. And I like to joke that it took me 12 years to become an overnight success. But I hope you can get there faster than I did. Thank you very much and good luck.